Hi, you guys. It's been a while. I'm here with my July Ipsy bag. This is what it came in this month. And then here's the card. It does show everything and the prices inside. But I thought I canceled Ipsy. So this was supposed to be my last bag. And then I got a message in my email saying that I do have another one coming. So I don't know if that's Ipsy's way of trying to trick you into like continuing subscription. So I have to call them on the phone and cancel it that way because I did get an email saying that it was canceled, but another bag is coming. So I took advantage of it. I'm excited about the stuff that's coming, a few products in particular. And then I got some more scrunchies off their, their Ipsy shop. So this um, round, I got the regular glam bag. So it's the smaller bag, not the box with the full size products. It just has the sample size um, and then deluxe sample size. And I had also got some add-ons from the Ipsy shop as well. So I think one of these I got a while ago and I forgot to mention it. So I'll just mention that first. I, I think I got this in the last bag and I forgot that I had it. So it was the this Natasha Denona palette. I may have mentioned it because I remember talking about something that was broken, but that might've been the cab bronzer. I can't remember. If I already have shown this, I apologize. Um, it is what I'm wearing today. It's the Alloy Palette by Natasha Denona and this color came smashed. So um, that's fine because I have a lot of gold colors and this formula is really, really nice. Um, so you can see I have every color except for this one on my eyes. So crease up to the brow, outer crease kind of up to the brow and blended in here. And then this is on the outer corner and then this is all over the lid, but I put another shadow on top of that. So here, let me show you what this looks like on its own. So that's the color. It's kind of like a taupey green gray. Oh, oh, there you can see the green. That's cool. Okay, so on top of that, I also from Ipsy, I got this a little while ago, the Wander Beauty Sweet Escapes palette. So there is a color in here that I am obsessed with. You can probably tell because it's the one I touch the most. This glitter right here is so beautiful. It's called On Holiday. So that's what that looks like on its own. But I mix the two together and that's what it looks like. All right, and then the other add-on I got is just this tiny little, it's AMLA Nude Palette, yeah, by Seraphine Botanicals. This little guy. And there's just some neutral, uh, gray kind of cool tone browns in here which I really love a really pretty inner corner highlight I'll just swatch those for you that's the lightest um, uh, shimmer shade you just can't really see it because it's kind of my skin tone oh no wait which one is that it's this one you can see the light one right there see how nice and gray and kind of taupey that is I'm sure I didn't need this, but it was so cheap. And I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, just something small, you know, for like maybe travel or something. I don't know if I'm going to be traveling at all, but just in case I wanted to have something small that's um, cool toned. And then I can have a small, I think I have a small warm tone palette as well, which may be this one. I really, really, really love the colors in this palette. All right. So on to what was in the bag. This theme is called the great escape pack your makeup bags because this month we've got a one-way ticket to dewy skin glossy hair and so much color whether you're planning a summer vacation or a much needed mental escape all your must-haves will fit inside your new bag so I guess they're saying that this is you know they sent this size bag because it'd be a great bag for traveling with which I agree it's pretty durable I think you can probably bring it on the beach and it can get wet um, it kind of feels like that kind of fabric I mean I wouldn't recommend it, like just going to the beach and getting it wet because I don't want you to ruin your stuff, but try it out before you take it out to the beach or the pool. All right, so in this bag, we have this Trifle Cosmetics Jelly Juice Tinted Lip Glow in Raspberry. It is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, it says it's pla plaqued. You can always count on me to mess up my words here. Packed with nourishing plant-based oils, shea butter and vitamin E. This bouncy jelly lip treatment glides effortlessly onto your lips, leaving them looking plump and juicy. I found that if you just put a little bit on, nothing happens. But I mean, when you squeeze this out, it is like red, red. So you have to put on quite a bit to get the, the juicy effect and it doesn't last. Like I, I feel like I have to keep applying it. So um, it is like not sticky. 
Um, I prefer a stickier gloss because it stays looking like this longer. Uh, I just hate how it gets caught in my hair. So I tend to have to wear my hair up when I wear a gloss. Because, you know, you guys know about gloss, right? This cute little palette, where is it? This is the Lovecraft Beauty Eyeshadow Trio in Muted Techno. Um, take your eye look up a notch with this palette it's just it's just typical like basic eyeshadows um warm toned so it's got your gold dark brown and then a nice crease shade it doesn't have an inner corner shade which you know you probably don't need i don't think any look definitely needs one but if you wanted one you can always buy a single light shade from anywhere even like wet and wild has a great one i'll just show you these shades really nice and um pigmented that as well would be a nice um, eyeshadow palette to bring on vacation if you just want something small because people plan, it seems. I'm noticing that people plan to use makeup on vacation, but they don't end up using it. So if you needed something that this is so light and, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, but yeah, people just, you know, they go to the beach, they get tan or their skin is like in transition and they don't end up wanting to put all that heavy stuff on their face, which I don't blame them. So um all right, the next thing is Hear Me Raw brand, the detoxifier with charcoal and purifying rub off mask. That's nice because the last time I tried a charcoal mask, it was the peel off kind. Never again. I will never, ever, ever use a peel off mask like that again. And my skin was burned. I'll see if I can figure out which video that is and link it below because I think it's somewhere here on my videos, but oh man, that was a mess. All right, so I'll give this a try and then you guys maybe will hear back from me on that. Um, oh, this. This is what's next. I love this. The Seraphine Botanicals Liquid Coal Waterproof Liquid Liner. This is an amazing eyeliner. I love the packaging too. It's like purple and black. And then there's like really cute. Can you see the flowers? It's like a floral. So glare. So much glare. Really pretty flowers on there. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The full size of this is $12, the lip gloss. And then and I wouldn't go for it. I mean, unless you're just doing it for pictures you know the full size eyeshadow trio is $12 and then this is a deluxe sample size the full size is $42 wow that's pretty expensive for a mask okay and then this eyeliner is $22 it's really good <laughs> I don't know you need to pay $22 there's a really good eyeliner that I love for uh, liquid line which is the Koki one and it's a this one's a double ended it's got the felt tip liner here and then uh wind up liquid liner liquid <laughs> water line liner so this kind of is irritating my eyes a little bit they're kind of watery since I put them on um this one this is what I'm wearing on my water line but I am wearing this on my upper lash line it was so easy to use it's a marker tip and it's so small you just, I kind of, what I did was I went in the inner corner and I kind of stamped it down and then just continued stamping till I got out here and then drew a little tiny flick. Super easy to use. And I tried this on before and it is very budge, budge proof, waterproof. Like it's really hard to kind of wash off. You need like a makeup remover to get that off. So I in love with that. Last thing, this, we'll see if this gets the eyeliner off. It's the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. The full size of this is $68. Oh my goodness sakes. Um, I'll just stick to good molecules, thank you, but we'll see what happens. Um, there is truly no better feeling than washing all the makeup and grime off your skin at the end of the day. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh, I love that feeling. And this rose cleansing balm. Ooh, I wonder if it smells like rose. Helps get rid of all of it. Oh, it doesn't, but it smells very clean. Oh, that's very nice. It reminds me a lot of the it the it confidence line everything in that line smells just like this which is good because i use the it confidence face wash and i actually gave away the cream i think i think i gave it away um because i've been using other stuff all right oh, the outside fan turned off just use a pea-sized amount over your skin with light circular motions and yeah i will let you guys know how that works out hopefully i'll try to do a short and then i'll remember to do it tonight um if you want to know what's on the rest of my face you can uh, stick around but if that's all you came here for thank you for watching my next august box is coming shortly so i'll be on with another video i'll try to get it done early in the month for you guys um, instead of waiting so long 
But um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos and comment on my videos and just share with me. Uh, I really, really enjoy that. So I'm thinking of you guys, praying for you guys. If you have any specific prayer requests, please leave them in the comments below. I will leave you my email in the description box so you can reach me. And then, all right, on with what's on the rest of my face. So I started off using the e.l.f. Holy Hydration because I missed using this and I love it. I didn't know what to use underneath this primer because I'm like, oh, I bought this primer. It was in the back of my drawer. I never use it, saving it for special occasions. <laughs> so instead of doing that, I'm just going to enjoy the products I have, especially my luxury stuff. So this is a very expensive primer. You don't need an expensive primer. But this with this worked really, really well together and it created such a smooth base along with, oh, I don't have it out, the e.l.f. Pore um, Putty Primer, the original one. I'm getting rid of my balm one because it went bad. I had it for a year and it went bad. Uh, I thought I only had it for six months, but it, I think I got it last summer. So I threw it in the, in the empties or to get rid of box over there. Other than that, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild tinted hydrator. I wanted to use something else other than my uh, Maracuja tinted hydrator from Tarte. So this one for my summer color is light medium. Hang on. What am I missing? You know what? I'm not reaching for the Charlotte Tilbury corrector. I feel like it's too emollient and it just slides off. I'm actually really, really, really loving the Neutrogena color correcting concealer in peach. I think I show this in every single video. It's my ride or die concealer. I mean, it, all year round, I feel like it works at concealing. Maybe in the winter, you can see a little bit of the peach, but if I put my powder foundation on top, it helps that. So I love this and I'm going to, I'm going to pass this along, I think, because I'm not reaching for it. And I think somebody else will get really great use out of that. So I'm wearing this and then on the rest of my face for concealing around my nose and my chin. Next, Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Absolutely love this. Um, everything, all the products I have on my face is a bit too much. It's kind of creasing under my eyes, so I don't think I can go out like this. Um, it's a lot, a lot of products because on top I set with the Studio MAC Fix. Fix, what is this called? The Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And my summer shade is this one in... NW22. For blush, it's a shade I got from Ipsy, the Formula Z in Class Act. It's a really nice peach shade. And on top of that, I use my beloved Cab Cosmetics French Kiss blush topper. You can use this as a blush, but I just really love putting it on top of whatever shade I'm wearing because it has like gold. I don't know if you can see that. It's like shimmery, goldy. See how light it is to wear as a blush like if you're super fair you could get away with this as your regular blush but i just love it as a topper it's so nice so i don't really need a highlight because that's all i'm wearing all right in my eyebrows i'm wearing the mac omega eyeshadow i accidentally if i don't know if you guys noticed this shaved off right there i have one of these little jabbies where is it and i was doing this and i must have got the side <laughs> So I tried to draw it on there, but it, whatever, it's fine. You guys probably didn't notice. I don't know, but maybe you did. If you did, I got to grow them back. <laughs> Mistakes happen. So this wasn't really a hit. That's what's on my lips. You guys saw that already. Um, maybe I'll do a look with this, but I'm probably just going to pass this on because I have lots of shades like it in my collection. I already showed you what's on for eyeshadows and eyeliner. For mascara, I'm wearing... Let's see what it's called. The Lash Flex Volumizing Mascara by Beauty Creations. I got this from Ipsy as well. I tried to keep everything Ipsy, including some of my brushes. So I use this brush by Alginist. It's just a nice kabuki fluffy brush to put my powder foundation on. It's really, really great for powder foundation. I'm in love. It's so soft. Uh, and I think that's everything, you guys. So stay tuned. I will be back. I have an empties video coming and my August Ipsy should be here really soon. Um, other than that, I've hauled like hardly anything. I haven't really been buying anything. A couple of things I was running out of, but that's it. Um, yeah, nothing amazing. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.